Welcome to episode 149.5 uh, of EDH Commander Challenge. I'm your host, BT. And today we'll be bringing you another EDH CC deck tech. Today we'll be featuring my favorite commander in the game. And he's not just my favorite commander because of his low casting costs or his epic abilities, but because he reminds me of my connection to you all our subscribers, our viewers, our fans. It's one person who inspires someone to like something, and then that person tells another person, and then it doubles, and it doubles, and it doubles, till we have this mega community that we have now. Once upon a time, this channel only had seven subscribers. We're now closer to 1,700, which is amazing. And I can't thank you all enough for that. That general, is Riss the Redeemed. He is the Colors of Celestia, for a hybrid of one white or one green. He's a 1-1 legendary elf warrior with the following abilities. For three mana, including the hybrid of Celestia, you can put a 1-1 green and white elf creature token into play, or for six, including two hybrids of white and green, you can double the number of creature tokens that you have in play. This is just absolute fun. And even if you get board wiped over and over, you can just rebuild and rebuild and rebuild. By the way, this deck, yes, I know I've already done a deck tech on it before. This is the updated 2020 version of the deck. So I'd really appreciate in the comments if you let me know, maybe just asking why I'm not playing certain cards or why I chose certain cards. I'll be more than happy to explain it to you. And if you guys like the video enough times, maybe I will use it in next week's episode. Every critique would be greatly appreciated. So let's go on ahead and check out Risk the Redeemed updated for 2020. All right, so here we are. This is my more or less 100% foiled Risk the Redeemed deck tech dedicated this to a great YouTuber name of Ranch who inspired this video, it's a ranch. If you're watching, hope you enjoy, and hope I make you proud with this Riss Deck Tech. By the way, if any of you have suggestions for cards that are in the deck or question why some of the cards are in the deck, let me know in the comments below. Start with the lands. So I play one, two, three, four, five, five planes. Let's put that over there. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven forests. Let me play some land destruction with strip mine and a ghost quarter. We also have the two hideaway lands, which are Windbrisk Heights and Mossward Bridge. Next we have some of the Celestia lands themselves. I play with Sun Petal Grove, Scattered Groves, Canopy Vista, and Temple Garden. I also have the Fetch Land for the bunch, which is Windswept Heath. Another fetch, if you want to call it that, because it does fetch out dual lands, would be Crows and Verge. Other lands that are utilities, I have Gavany Township, Thespian Stage, of course Dark Depths, which combos well with it, V2 Ghazi, the City Tree, Castle Garen Brig, and the only card that's not foiled, because I think the only one that's available that's foil is the DCI one that goes for a few thousands now, is Gaia's Cradle. That's it for lands. We move on to creatures next. I have Oracle of Moldaya. What else? Eternal Witness. Priest of Titania. Sakura Tribe Elder. Seedborn Muse. Trostani's Summoner. Celestia Guild Mage. Then we have Imara, Soul the Accord, Tristani Discordant, Elvish Arc Druid, 
good old Shaman of Forgotten Ways in alternate wind condition, since biorhythm is not legal. <laughs> then we also have Bramble Sovereign, Imperious Perfect, Voice of Resurgence, Birds of Paradise, the other Tristani, Celestia's Voice, one of my old favorites, Kamal, Fist of Krosa, rounds out the bunch. That's all I got for creatures. Then we move on to sorceries. I have some board wipes here. One of them is um, Martial Coup. I'll get to another one in, the, in a minute. And of course, for token makers, along with Martial Coup, I have Entreat the Angels. Genesis Wave. Other things I have for sorceries include Green Sun Zenith, Idealic Tutor, and for some land fetch, we have Reap and Sow, Sylvan Scrying, Kadama's Reach, Cultivate, Rampant Growth, Explore, Day of Judgment, Hour of Reckoning, that's one of the other board wipes that I was talking about earlier. Some other stuff I have here include Declaration in Stone, Regrowth, to round out the bunch. For anyone asking why I run Regrowth and Eternal Witness, I just love this DCI foe Regrowth and it's more or less a staple in any deck that really runs green. Moving on to Instant Speeds. I've got Seed Spark. This can help me get rid of some artifacts or enchantments I don't like and get some tokens out of it. And of course, Swords to Plow Shares. Path to Exile, Crib Swap, all nice removal spells, as most of, them, most of my instants are, they're mostly removal of some kind or disruption. Orm's Chant, stops those OTKs. Beast Within, then we have also some Land Fetch and Crop Rotation, great for getting Gaia's Cradle early. Worldly Tutor, great for things like Priest of Titania and Bird's early game when your mana's short and Court of Calling. That's it for instance. We move on to artifacts. They're mostly utilities, but let's have a look. I've got Celestia Signet. Of course, the OG Soul Ring. Then we got Mana Crypt. Probably one of the most expensive in the deck. Then we got one of my favorites, Gilded Lotus. Thran Dynamo. Then we have Sensei's Divining Top. Relic of Progenitus I put in mostly because it's great against a lot of decks I come across like Moren of Clan Nail Toth and a lot of reanimator decks and people who want to reuse their graveyards for whatever reason. The only reason why this is here. Throw of the God Pharaoh, a sleeper card. Really good especially when you're attacking with little tokens. They want to get into the extra damage. Of course got Cage Sun to make your mana all the much more powerful along with the creatures in play. And finally, Eldrazi's Monument, which is more like a finishing move, if nothing else. Next we have Enchantments. Of course, Risk the Redeemed wouldn't be as awesome as it is without Doubling Season. Also, Parallel Lives to double the tokens you have. Divine Visitation, one of my personal favorites, turns all of your tokens you make into 4-4 Flying Vigilance Angels, yes please. We have Primeval Bounty, Explore, to get your mana out faster, another mana doubler in Mirari's Wake. Then we also have Growing Rites of Itamok, giving you a chance for a second Gaia's Cradle. Then some removal, we have Oblivion Ring, Aura Shards. Literally any artifact deck's nightmare. Glare of Subduel for some control. Beast Master's Ascension, which could also be used in an OTK and you have a bunch of tokens out, you're just going for one swing and they're, they're huge. Epic Struggle is another sleeper card that people, I, I, this card gets no play in Commander and I don't know why. In a Risk deck, it's great. It's easy for a Risk deck to get 20 creatures out, so. This had to have a spot in my deck. And finally, of course, Sylvan Library, another staple in any deck that runs green. 
And last but not least, we have my Planeswalkers, which are Hulati, Radiant Champion, and of course, Karn Liberated. The Hulati is mostly there for the card draw, or if you have a big enough creature with enough creatures in play, why not go for an OTK? And of course, Karn is just there for removal. I don't think I've ever had a game where we've ever used its ultimate. And there you have it. This is my Risk the Redeemed Foil Updated 2020 Deck Tech. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this week's episode. If you're a fan of EDH gameplay and you like whether it be 1v1 or multiplayer and you want to be part of the ever-growing Commander Challenge family, just make sure you smash the subscribe button and notification bell down below. We do weekly videos. Don't forget as well to like, comment, share our videos, but most importantly, enjoy them. On behalf of all of our members here, I'm your host, BT. Feel free to check out all of the videos in the channel. Join our game. It's now your turn. Cheers!